Hello everyone. In this session, we want to take different forms of equations of tangent. So let us start different forms. The first one is in this slope form. Means we expect the answer to be in terms of slope means m. Now before I start taking actual equation, let us recall what we have done in our previous sessions. We had done that a line meets a circle in three possible cases. Either it meets at two distinct points or at two coincident points or two imaginary points. When we want line to be a tangent, that means we are interested in two coincident points. One. And two, if we start with equation x square plus y square equal to r square and y equal to mx plus c as a line, then to find point of intersection, we substitute in place of y mx plus c and get one quadratic equation x square into 1 plus m square plus 2 mcx plus c square minus r square equal to 0. This is the equation what we get. And if we solve this, we will get answers for x. Two roots we will get imaginary or equal and real or real and distinct. That depends on the discriminant part. This is what we have done in our last session. And there we also had found that for line to be the tangent to the curve or to the circle, I should say, to be more precise, we had this condition with us that r equal to c upon under root 1 plus m square and then we take absolute value just to keep that r as a non-negative quantity. This was the requirement for line to be tangent. Mind you please, here we had started with the circle x square plus y square equal to r square. So we are writing r equal to. If you start with x square plus y square equal to a square, then we will be writing a equal to absolute value of c upon under root 1 plus m square. Okay, so let us get back to the actual task. To get equation of the tangent to the circle x square plus y square equal to a square, and we want this to be in the slope form. Means what? If we start with y equal to mx plus c, that c needs to be replaced in terms of m and a possibly. And from our this previous talk, we know that c is nothing but under root 1 plus m square into a. So final form of the equation of the tangent is y equal to mx plus minus a under root 1 plus m square. Why do I write there plus minus? Because we had there absolute value. To get rid of that absolute value notation, I'm writing here plus minus. So this is the final form for equation of the tangent in slope form. Okay, let us proceed further from here. We need coordinates also. Coordinates of what? Of point of contact. Now, one way is that you actually solve that quadratic equation what I spoke just time, some time back. That you solve that equation knowing that roots are equal. If roots are equal, then it will be simply in like quadratic equation how we have ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. We say equal roots are given by minus b upon 2a. Use that fact and get actual points of contact. And that point of contact will be in this form. It would be a square m upon c comma a square by c. And one will have positive sign, another will have negative sign. Right? And if you want to get rid of that c again, then replace c and get in terms of a and m only. And that is the second method or second way of writing. It is minus plus ma upon under root 1 plus m square, comma minus plus a upon under root 1 plus m square. So this is about how do we get points of contact. The choice is yours. Again and again I repeat. Those who are not so comfortable with actually formula part, they can simplify solve on the spot also. It will not be a very big exercise because roots are equal case you already know. It is simply minus b upon 2a. So it will take hardly any steps, right? Or you remember that as a formula. Choice is entirely yours. Okay. So let us proceed further. And the next thing in the queue is obviously example on just now what we have discussed. Okay. So question is find the point at which the line y equal to x plus root 2a touches the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. Means we want point of contact to be obtained. And x square plus y square equal to a square is the circle and equation of the line is given to us y equal to x plus under root 2a. That means it is of the form y equal to mx plus c. And if that line is tangent, we already know the condition. And also points of contact. We have already done. How point of contact is given? It is given as minus a square m upon c, comma a square by c. Write those expressions. In place of c, you can substitute, right? What is c here in our given case? y equal to mx plus c. c here is under root 2a. In the given question, I am saying. And what about m? If you compare that 
equation of line with y equal to mx plus c, m is nothing but 1. So we have m equal to 1, we have c equal to under root 2a, substitute and get your point of contact and point of contact turns out to be minus a upon root 2 comma a upon root 2. So that was your task to get point of contact. Okay, so let us proceed further from here. Oh. Now let us take another form and that is point form. That means point at which tangent is drawn that is given to you and equation of the circle is given to you. Now, if I start with the circle as x square plus y square equal to a square and if point is x1, y1, then equation of the tangent is x, x1 plus y, y1 equal to a square. Now, I am not getting into the proof part, but those who have hold on calculus, they can find out slope, etc. and they can actually write equation of the tangent. Using that exercise, you get final answer. I am not getting into proof part or derivation part. Frankly speaking, that all is not required from problem solving point of view. So, you better take this as straight away final answer for equation of tangent in the point form x x1 plus y y1 equal to a square. How do we remember? Actually, you can remember it like x square term is replaced by x x1, y square term is replaced by y y1. It's easy to remember. Now, not necessarily again, you will be given equation of the circle in the form x square plus y square equal to a square. It could be some general form also like x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Now, equation of the tangent in this case would be, again, same way, x square replaced by xx1, y square replaced by yy1. So, xx1 plus yy1. Now, that middle term 2gx is written as gx plus gx1. That I am writing as g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c equal to 0. Now, instead of getting into derivation, it's better to remember this as a formula. It's better. I mean, though, because those steps will take longer time than remembering formula or applying formula rather, I should say. Okay. So, let us take one example and the example is the equation of the tangent to the circle x square plus y square minus 2x plus 4y minus 5 equal to 0 at point 2 comma 1. Means point is given, equation of circle is given, just substitute in the formula. We have x x1, here x1 is 2, y1 is 1, substitute that and get your final answer is x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. That's all. You have to just substitute in the formula. No other working is required for this. Okay. Let us proceed further. Okay. Now, next form is parametric form. Parametric form of what? Parametric form of equation of the tangent. Right. Now, recall parametric form of straight lines or parametric form of circles in the beginning what we have done. If you recall, you will get that point on circle in parametric form is known to us. So, parametric form of equation of the tangent at a cos theta comma a sin theta. a cos theta comma a sin theta is in parametric form, right? Or you can call it as equation of circle also in parametric form. Now, realize this. What is parameter here? I hope you remember that. Theta is parameter. A remains constant. So, point is given as a cos theta comma a sin theta. Equation of the circle is x square plus y square equal to a square. And x x1 plus y y1 equal to a square just substitute their x1 as a cos theta substitute in place of y1 as a sin theta and simplify that further that will lead to x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to a so this is the final answer for parametric form of the equation of the tangent i hope you remember these forms you actually take paper pencil and keep writing these formulae whatever i'm mentioning here that will help you in problem solving sessions okay here I end my session. When we meet next time, we will be again coming with something new. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you. Hope you have liked this video. To subscribe, please click on this side. Or if you want to place an order for the book, please click on this side. Thank you.